Hello everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials, this time on tonality. I must say, um, tonality is a great application when it comes to learn theory and plus more, as I will show you in this introductory video. As I normally uh, do, I have a number of promo codes that uh, I will give away through a competition. So if you are a subscriber and you would like to enter the competition to have a chance to win a fantastic copy of this application, please do send an email to soundformore at gmail.com. As, um, as I have always done in the series of tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction in this video and then we go through in uh, um, in next videos, uh, step by step, how to work and how to use this fantastic application. So <clears throat> let's start with an overview uh, here. We are on the chord tab, and as you can see here, it's fantastic. You can click, for example, the, um, the root of the chord. You can say it's a minor, and immediately you see underneath here, it shows you C minor and the chord on, uh, on a piano keyboard. You can also choose to see a guitar, um, a representation of chords or you can also choose for example to see them both which is quite handy as well and of course you can click on a chord okay and then it will show you also uh, a representation here of the chord it will, it will talk it will give you indication of the degrees of note a musical representation with a treble or bass key um, and different chords, etc., etc. So really, really quite handy. If you click, you can play the chord. If you kick and slide, you can get it to, uh, if you click hold and slide quickly, you can get it to uh, play the notes of the chord in sequence. So this is just an introduction on the first screen. So let's look at the scales. It works in a similar way, but this time instead of references chords, it references scales, which is really good. So in this case, a C major uh, Aeolian, and you see the notes represented there. Um, let's go to an A, A major, and it shows you in this case, you have a C sharp, an F and a G sharp as well. So, and this works in a similar way as the chords, but it is for scale. And as you can see here, it gives you a representation of the scales, also the notes on the fretboards, which is really, really cool. Next, we have an identification of chords. This is where you, it will recognize chords, and then we'll show you the chords which have recognized. Next, we have a, what is called a circle of fifths in theory, which I will explain uh, very shortly in, in in one of the next tutorial but this is where for example you can see you can say this is a c chord this is the scale that's the chord let's go up by um up to g by a fifth and it says the next one is a g um major scale so you can see an f sharp here and the chord representation if you go back to a c you can see the corresponding a minor going here so this is really good in terms of understanding how music theory works and particularly a uh, relationship between chords and scales you have an also a session on ear training which as you can see i started already this is really cool and because it helps you to recognize chords intervals etc etc you have also a dictionary which again is really interesting if you want to know uh, the definition of some uh, of the normally abbreviation of musical terms used and also you have a chord pad which is quite handy so you click on the plus sign you say i want a c minor chord here it is you click on there click down here you have your chord again let's go in there g minor chord g minor done so a c minor and a g minor chord And this is just the beginning because the other thing as well that it comes with is a set of AUV free um, instances as well. So let's move to AUM here and um, let's create an audio channel and let's choose as an example, I don't know, the electric vintage from Apesoft. Then let's um, create a MIDI channel. 
Now, as you go inside here, if you have installed tonality, you will see that you have now a number of um, your instance applications or that you can use. So you have a code and scale identification, a code pads and a grand stuff. And this is really, really cool. Code pads, very simple, just uh, connected to <clears throat> To your all your instance then go inside pads and as we have seen a moment ago create your chord as you prefer like so so really that easy but let's create another MIDI instance another MIDI processor and uh, let's choose for example <coughs> chord and scale identification let's open this up and let's connect it to the keyboard to just send it to some MIDI signals so let's play it underneath. Here we go. It recognizes a C major chord. I changed the E to an E flat and it recognizes that it is a C minor. So it's really good and it recognizes also scales as well. And the one which I really, really love as well is what is called Grand Staff here. So let me show you how that works uh, with an example. So let's um, open it up and let's connect the keyboard here. Let's change the setting to uh, to the default settings like so. And now let's play a chord. And it shows you the chord on top. But here looks how cool it is. So let's add, for example, an instance of chord bud two. Let's open it. Let's create a chord progression like so. And let's connect the chord bud two to um, the grand stuff uh, um, unit instance audio unit uh, sorry midi unit instance so like so and uh, let's open it and let's click play as you can see is you can see the chords moving moving which is really cool and if you want to you can connect it also to and uh, to the audio unit instance for which then you see also the chords you will hear also the chords being played so back at the beginning and play so lots of options uh, is a fantastic application so this just uh, this was just an introductory video so i will explain it in details in the next parts and this is a great application if you want to learn music theory for scale, chords, um, you know, train your ears for chord recognition and interval recognition and so on. So really, really cool. I will use this application to uh, effectively create a number of um, tutorials uh, to explain music theory, which I hope you will find useful. Thank you and see you at the next video. Bye.